Hi, I'm Michael Burton, executive producer for Real Entertainment, located in Atlanta, Georgia. We offer full service video production for any project. Now I want to talk to you about how to delete Windows XP. Let me start off by saying that Windows XP is a registered trademark of Microsoft, and I am not affiliated with Microsoft. Now when deleting Windows XP, there's a couple things that you want to remember. The first thing is that you want to remember to back up all of your data files and programs. Uh, well, not the programs, you'll have to reinstall the programs, but you want to back up everything you possibly can because obviously by deleting Windows XP, you're going to lose all your files. The, Windows XP is the operating system that runs the computer, and so it manages everything. So if you delete the, the operating system, you're going to lose your files, especially if you want to reformat the drive and start over with a new, a, a fresh install of Windows XP, or you've upgraded to a new version of Windows XP. Um, what you want to do is uh, pull out your original operation install disk and insert that into the disk drive and then you'll you'll restart the computer and it'll ask you if you, uh, if you want to boot from the, the CD push any button, you'll go ahead and push any button and then you'll start following the on-screen instructions it'll bring you to the system restore menu and then it'll ask you if you want to reformat the drive you can reformat the drive first that's what you're going to want to do to completely delete Windows XP um, you, then you, they even give you the option to, to partition as well so that you can actually keep the operating system you have and reinstall another operating system or another version of Windows XP on a separate partition. But if you want to delete Windows XP, you're going to want to erase that partition completely and start from scratch. I know that I have one laptop where it's, it, they usually ask me first about the partitioning and on my, my desktop PC, uh, they just ask me if I want to re erase and reformat the hard drive and that's usually what I click. So, um, and then I can go ahead after that's erased and reformatted my drive I can then go ahead and do a fresh install and it it pretty much uh, it automatically does it as you're doing the reinstall anyway so even if you don't reformat the hard drive first as you do the fresh install it's basically rewriting over your Windows XP and deleting your old version anyway so there's just a few ways to do it it's fairly simple and I can't really uh, show you completely without of course destroying my computer and erasing my files but run the disk you want what you want to do that next then is reboot the computer with the disk inside the inside the disk drive and then follow the the on-screen instructions and it'll walk you through it